Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, March 2nd, Dr. Seuss's birthday. Pretty decent night. It was calm when we went to bed. It was warm. And by warm, I mean not cold. Somewhere around 11 or so, man, that wind rolled in like a freight train. Um, but it never really got really cold. I mean, I'm in my hiking shirt. I got a hat on just to keep some body heat in, but it's not raining yet. That's a good thing. Got out of camp by 740 this morning. That's a good thing. Here, let me turn this around and show you the sunshine real quick. Not sure of a good plan today. <clears throat> There's talk of 16 miles to the next shelter. Or not the next shelter, two shelters. Skip a shelter. My body's tired. Today is day nine on trail for me. I'm tired. I am tired. I don't hurt. I just, I'm fatigued. So I'm, my original plan was to get to Hiawassee, maybe take a zero. I still may do that. Um, of course, you're seeing this after the fact, but um, that might be the plan. So, all right, let me get off here, get to hiking, northbound, show you trail. Going down Trey Mountain, heading toward the Georgia North Carolina border, which I should hit two days, two days maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Today's elevation is not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was horrible. So, all right, I'll get back to you with the cool stuff in a little bit. This is the view from Kelly Knob, and it's raining again. Good morning, y'all. It's uh, Tuesday, March 3rd. Uh, spent the night here at Your Home in the Woods, bed and breakfast, near Blairsville, Georgia. Um, what a fantastic place this is. Um, got in here yesterday around, I don't know, probably 2.30 or so. Um, had a big old hearty sandwich with homemade bread. Um, big supper, home-cooked meal last night. It was fantastic. Um, big breakfast this morning, eggs, sausage, uh, homemade scones, um, pancakes, coffee, orange juice. 
some much needed nutrition, man. It was, this place is fantastic. Um, I'm hoping to give you a tour of the place here in a little while. Um, if you're in the area and you need a spot to stay, your home in the woods is the place to be. Um, I think it's $55 a night, but with all the stuff you get, shower, laundry, the food, it is well worth it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, today's going to be a zero day for me. I've gone uh, nine days of hiking, anywhere from eight to close to 12 miles a day. So I'm tired. I need the day off. And um, it's pouring down rain, as you can hear. Um, I'm out here on the screened-in porch. And um, yeah, so it's a good day just to relax, recover, um, and get reset for tomorrow and get back on trail uh, across the, into North Carolina and probably travel to the muskrat shelter is the goal. So um, I know this is delayed. You guys are seeing it later after the fact, but um, just take a second to keep the, the family and the victims of that tornado in Nashville um, earlier this morning in your prayers, because that's, uh, that's just horrific. And you never expect something like that to hit a city like Nashville. So um, that's something that's always in the back of my mind out here in these mountains in the south is you know, you can get some pretty severe weather, and we passed a section the other day um, on the way to Helen, um, Georgia, that looked like it might have had a microburst a couple years ago or something. Um, all the trees on the side of the mountain were just blown down. Um, the lady said it was a tornado, but all the trees were facing the same way, so I, I doubt it was a tornado. But um, at any rate, something like that just concerns you with being in the woods, so you just got to be vigilant and pay attention to what's going on. Oh, the, the birds in and out of this bird feeder are awesome. There's a downy woodpecker and looks like maybe a purple martin or something or a purple finch. So, pretty cool. So, I'm going to give you a tour here after a while. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the screened-in porch. Um, like I said, it's raining out. It's uh, in the high 50s maybe. Um, but I'm going to sit out here today and enjoy the just the peace of quiet and listen to the rain and not get soaking wet. So, I'll get back to you shortly. Hey y'all, um, as you can see, this place is just magnificent. It's immaculately kept, it's clean. Um, Bonnie and Paul are fantastic. The food has been awesome. I am well fed, well nourished. Um, if you get a chance to try this place out, your home in the woods, check it out. And it is a great place to zero. Um, the screen in porch is great for just sitting outside listening to the birds or the rain come down or whatever. It is just uh, a phenomenal experience here and I'm well rested and ready to get back on trail tomorrow. So if you need a zero day, um, I definitely can, would consider contacting them and their information is in um, this video earlier in a slide. So, um, so that's it for now. Talk to you soon. Good afternoon. Um, 
I've gotten a lot of questions about the uh, electronics that I use uh, while I vlog this journey on the Appalachian Trail. Um, so what I'm filming with right now is my Galaxy S10 Plus phone, um, which I really like. Um, I like the, the camera options that it does. It'll do a wide shot um, or it'll do close-ups and things like that. I really like it. Um, the software that I'm using to edit my videos is KineMaster, K-I-N-E-M-A-S-T-E-R. Um, I did buy the subscription service. I forget what I paid for it. I did an annual um, subscription. And um, what that does is it removes the watermark from the top. The, the top of your screen will say made with Kind Master if it's the free version. I just did away with that and gave me more music options and, and some things like that. So I really like it. It's very intuitive, very simple to use. Um, I like it a lot. In order to keep my stuff charged, I have an Anchor uh, 20,000 milliamp battery pack. Um, it's got a little indicator light that you can push and shows you that four lights are lit up, that it's charged. I can get several charges out of this. Um, now, the one thing I do when the nights are really, really cold is I do keep my phone and I keep my battery pack under my uh, top quilt against my body to keep them warm um, because the cold will drain the power quicker. Uh, but I like this. It's got two uh, USB connections so I can charge several devices at one time. And then it's got, the, you know, the in port to charge it, uh, you know, from a, a house current. So um, it's a little on the heavy side, but... I mean, you got to have power out here if you want to do anything with electronics. Um, as I mentioned, I'm carrying my Galaxy S10 phone, so all I have is the uh, the fast charger for that with a long charging cable. That's so that if I'm in places where the plugs are limited, I can still plug it in and you know lay in the bunk and you know do stuff on my phone or whatever. I'm not tied to a very short cord, um, so I like that. I mean, I use it around my house and stuff like that. Um, but it, you know, it's a rapid charger, charges the phone quickly. Uh, the other thing I have is a, um, an anchor charger that has the IQ uh, charging technology. Uh, I can plug in two USBs to this and quick charge items. Like normally I'm charging my battery pack and either my headlamp or my GPS device or something like that using this while my phone's plugged into the other uh, charging head. So. Uh, I like this a lot. Um, I don't know much about it. Um, I got it off Amazon. Uh, and I've, I've got several USB to, um, I think it's USB-C connections, which all my electronics take the same connection. So I have two USB to C um, connectors and then my Samsung uh, Galaxy S10 charging cable, which is a different um, connector end than the, um, the USB-C. So. That's the electronics I'm using. Um, like I said, I'm carrying a rechargeable headlamp, uh, a Garmin inReach GPS, which requires charging periodically. Um, other than that, that's it for the electronics. I just carry them all in a little waterproof blue ditty bag uh, that I keep, you know, tucked away in the backpack where it's not going to get wet. And uh, I even got a little moisture packet uh, that comes, you know, in some of those things when they're packaged to make sure that I'm keeping the moisture off of them. So, so far, so good. No problems. Uh, and that is the electronics I'm using for my AT through height. So thanks for the questions. Appreciate everybody watching. This is just fantastic, the support I've gotten so far on this channel. Um, if you see value in the video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you'll always know when new videos come out. Um, all of those things also help in my um, search criteria when someone's looking for Appalachian Trail through hikes. It you know helps push me up in the search. Um, only because I'm trying to put out quality content. I'm, I'm not the best YouTuber out there. I don't claim to be. I don't want to be. Um, I'm just trying to be myself and hike the trail and have fun and share the journey with others, maybe to inspire them to do it um, and maybe allow some people to live vicariously through my adventure um, because I can do it and, and maybe physically or whatever they cannot. So um, I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. Thanks for following along and um, I'll talk to you again soon.